Okay. Uh, first unpacking uh, is the power cord. This is the power adapter. This is a connecting wire to the printer. That is, if you want to use an external printer, you can use this yeah, to connect to the external printer. And this is the QC card, the QC test cartridge. Okay. And this is the user manual. Hmm? Try to read this. Okay, this is the user manual. Okay, so this is the machine. Okay? This is the machine. Uh, I'm going to open the machine, power it on, and uh, do QC testing, uh, and cover it in a video, and then uh, send it also to you after this video, okay? La Mono Plus. Okay, connected the power cord to the adapter. Then the adapter now at the back. You see the power. Okay. <coughs> so now we can power the machine. Okay, machine is powering. Self testing okay. After self testing, the machine will on on its own, you bring out the, uh, the, main, the main testing interface. Okay, so it's asking for you to swipe the card to get test code. Each test have a code. Uh, now, the first thing that we would like to do is QC. Uh, each each uh, test parameter has its own card, and this is the sensor where you swap the card. But first of all, before continuing anything, this is the waste pouch. So you can close it and open. But anytime you want to do any test or, or you want to start test, just open this place. So that once cassette enters inside this place, after testing, it will discard it from this place, okay? That's number one. So this is the... QC uh, card. And then the ID, ID card of the QC. Each of the reagents have their own ID card, specific to it. When that reagent pack is, uh, finishes, uh, that ID card is also uh, gone. Okay. So what we now do now? Just watch. I swipe this here, and it's already showing ID card, uh, QC card. Okay. So once you swipe it, it will dictate what it's for. So this is the QC card. Then that means the the machine is ready to read the QC, the QC. A cassette. So I'm holding the what way I'm holding it, then slot it in. Right? Then you have quick testing and timing testing. Timing testing is when you want to the machine to incubate inside, depending on how many minutes the test parameter reads. It will incubate inside and give you result after testing. But I normally prefer, we normally prefer to use quick test. Wherein you, you incubate all your tests outside, timing them. Once it's time, you put it and then you read a quick test. Okay? Now for this question now, we are doing quick tests. Okay? Quick tests. 
he goes in his testing is pass okay then he falls out from this place normally falls out from this place normally okay let's do the process again uh, QC statistic QC quick testing he tests he pass and then he falls out okay very good so this is the first level uh, QC test First of all, I would like to confirm if there is a paper here. Oh, there's no paper. So uh, we have a. We are going to install a paper inside here now, okay? So we install the paper. Print. Okay, very good. QC pass. Okay. So this is the first level of uh, QC. Uh, one other thing I would like to show you is. Uh, the second level of QC. This is a you go to setting. Okay, the barcode should always be on off. Then this palette, palette, it refers to this. Okay, this is out now. If you want to take it in, palette. If you click on palette, enter. It goes in. It goes in. Okay, palette out. It comes out. Okay. Uh -huh. So in case when you are finished with all the tests, you want to off the machine, you come to this setting and click on palette to enter inside. Okay? Uh, we, need, we still need it out, so let's, let's leave it out. Uh, printing. You can choose to leave your printing on manual or auto. If it's on manual, if you finish doing any test, you need to click on print intentionally before you can print. But if it's on auto, after any test, the machine automatically prints. Okay, so for now, I will leave it on auto. Hmm? I'll leave it on auto. But what brought us here is QC. There's the second level of QC. Huh? You you come here, click on a QC. You do this maybe once every month. Okay, depending on uh, how frequent you do your own test with the machine. We are still using the QC card for the QC testing, okay? You slot it in, then you click on test, okay? Now, there is uh, a range of the cumulative variance that you are going to get to confirm that the machine is working properly. And that is uh, between minus 3.0 to uh, 3.0 percent. So when the machine has finished analyzing, now we have 0 0.2. We have 0 0.2 cumulative variance. 0 0.23. That means it is within uh, testing. Uh, it is within it, the QC is okay. Uh, so if if it gives you any value that is not within minus 3.0 to 3.0, then uh, uh, the QC test is failed. Okay, so this is passed. Okay, so go back. So that is it. So you will take the QC back to the pouch, and on no instance uh, should you allow anything to drop on this place. Right? Nothing should ever drop here. Okay? Yeah. So. Closing back. Closing back the QC card. Uh, but that is the same place where for normal tests, for normal tests, like maybe I'm doing thyroid function hormone, uh, uh, cardiac markers, uh, any any test normally, what you do is to drop the sample in a place provided for it. That's in a place like this, huh? just like your normal HIV test, any other test that have lateral flow. Once you drop the, the sample, you start reading. If you just drop the sample, then you start timing, okay? 15 minutes or the time stipulated for the test kit, then you can read. But for this QC, never should anything be dropped on this place. Once you drop anything here for the QC, 
the cassette is spoiled. Whether it's water or blood or anything, it will, it will spoil the cassette. Okay? Here, we are good. So, at this junction now, I want to take in the pallet, right? I go to setting, I go to pallet, enter. It goes in. So, I close this one, I go back, and then uh, the next thing is to off the machine. Okay? And now, if you are doing any test, if you are doing any test, you, you need to choose what you are using. Is it either serum, serum or plasma or whole blood? Serum or plasma or whole blood, okay? Then you can decide to also come here, more information for the, for the patient. You type the name, you put the gender, okay? Uh, so that is it. Uh, print on. So after that, then you can, you can, you can go back. And then continue your test. Eh? Uh, if you decide, you can change your ID number. You can change ID number. Okay? Uh -huh. So that is it. Thank you very much. Huh? I want to power after everything. The next thing is to power off. Okay? Yes. Thank you very much. So I'll be sending the machine across right away.